Hello everyone, Trophy Hunter here, and today I have a little tutorial for you on how to add reshade to the CMU emulator. Some people had some questions and they wanted me to share my preset, so I will be doing this. So first things first, you want to come to the reshade website. I will link in just I'll link everything in the description. You just have to go down there. Um, okay, so for Reshade, I'm going to be using version uh, 3.0.6. I've already downloaded it, so I won't be downloading it. I will show you the setup process, however. Alright, so you run the executable. Go to Select Game. Uh, go to where you have uh, CMU installed, and double-click the EXE. Okay. And then it's going to want you to select the rendering API. OpenGL is already ticked, just click on it. And for me, I will overwrite the existing installation. Make sure when it says, do you wish to download a collection of standard effects, hit yes. It's going to download them really quick. They all should be checked. Just hit OK. And that's it. Close it. It's all set. When you go to your CMU folder, You should have these two, the uh, OpenGL32.dll, that's reshade. And if you don't have the any file, it should be created if you start CMU, but I'm pretty sure you get it by default. Open it up with Notepad++ or just Notepad itself. Make sure, for Breath of the Wild, you want to make sure that you change reshade depth input is upside down to 1, because it actually is upside down. So for things like, um, I believe, the depth of field and um, uh, ambient occlusion, use the, the depth input. And if, yeah, you know, if it's upside down, it's going to be totally screwed up. So you want to make sure that that is set to 1. And here is my preferences for the actual reshade for Breath of the Wild. That's going to automatically be loaded. So you're just going to want to start up Simu. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I'll link this in the description as well, this website. You probably want to get this, uh, I guess it's, it's not really a program, it's basically another DLL hook that hooks onto CMU and gives you H.264 video playback, so if a game has that, you will be able to actually see the video. And it also has a, a hack here, which um, I believe it does something with VSync. That makes the game run a lot uh, faster than it normally would, which is always good. So I will also link this in the description and just download it. And it comes in, a, I think, a RAR. It's just, I think, a README and the actual DLL. Just drop it in the same folder as CMU. And that should be everything else out of the way. I'm not going to be going over how to get Breath of the Wild. There are multiple ways of doing so. So loading up Breath of the Wild. I'll skip to when this is done. And you should see uh, Reshade up in the corner. Alright, well I guess we can go over the performance bit of this right now. Open up the Task Manager, press Control shift escape it's a quick shortcut, and right click on cmo.exe, set priority to high, it won't let me set it to real time, it might let you, I'm not sure. And because of this DLL, the uh, H.264 DLL, it sets your affinity automatically but it's uh, set up for intel cpus where it's saying oh if i have uh, eight cores it's thinking only core zero two four and six are physical when actually all my cores are physical so i'm just going to use all my cores hit okay and i also might be using cheat engine to get a little bit of extra speed out of the emulation you can see it's really bloomy, but it looks great in game. You can just turn it off. I use a scroll lock to toggle on and off reshade. And all that talking seemed to just get me to where I wanted. And now is uh, the time actually where you want to enable the GPU hack. I'm just going to make it run faster. I'm, I'm also going to disable the audio. Okay, so you may notice something kind of weird. And there is an issue right now <laughs> with Reshade when it hooks the game. It seems to break the landscape just a bit, as you can see. I can show you this again. So when you have uh, the game full screen, you just hit 
shift F2, and that'll open up the reshade bit of dialogue here. I'll show you really quick. Um, I'll reload at reshade, and it'll it'll go back to normal. See? It goes back to normal. Then when it hooks, finishes uh, loading all the shaders, boom, it breaks. Um, I'm not sure if it's an issue with reshade that's doing it, or if it's Simu, but something's definitely wrong. So hopefully either the devs of Simu fix, figure out a way to avoid this, or maybe Corsair could have a little like tick box or something that's like, oh, you using Simu on Breath of the Wild, just tick this and it fixes it. So my reshade preset is pretty cool. <laughs> um, it has, if you want, uh, obviously you can see this depth of field here. It's pretty performance heavy. Um, if you don't want, obviously, the uh, depth of field, just turn it off. It is right here. Marty McFly Doff. Just turn it off. And the, uh, the depth of field and the ambient occlusion are the two things that are really performance heavy. So if you don't want them, you can just turn them off. It, it changes it a little bit. But this will make it pretty smooth. Uh, I haven't even cheat engine this game yet, so... Now, of course, I mean, this might not be what you want where it's, like, super colorful. I might make a couple presets, actually. So look out for them. In the download section, I'll also probably add a couple of screenshots at the end of the video showing maybe the different presets. But this is uh, by far my favorite. It looks really good at night, too. It's, uh, I guess, a little bright at night, but... And it's a little glitchy over here, you can see. It's kind of... kind of derpy. But you can make some really nice screenshots. And actually... So, you might be asking, how the hell did I make that panorama shot? Well, I'll be going over how to do that. Now, how, do I, how did I make this uh, picture here? Actually, really simple. If you want the terrain to look good, you'll have to find a different way of getting screenshots from the game. I would recommend DX Tori. I've tried it and it works pretty well. Basically, what I did, literally what I did was just climb down slightly, right? And then I just turned the camera and it basically puts it inside your character but it doesn't draw you. So I, what I could do is go from about here all the way to about there. I, I think I took about 12 different screenshots. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And I will see you in the next one.